Chosen ones, man. What's going on with y'all, man? I'm back with another video. Listen, man. Chosen ones. They are mad. Because you've been treating your time. <clears throat> very special. You've been realizing. <clears throat> time. Chosen ones, you've been realizing that time is of the essence. You've been realizing that, hey, my time is, is rare. My time is, is sacred. My time is special. Excuse me. <clears throat> Chosen ones, they got used to you feeling like your time was their time. You hear what I'm saying? They got used to... I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but they got used to you thinking that sharing your time was okay. They never appreciated your time. They never made you feel like your time mattered whatsoever. They took your kindness and they were unappreciative of your time. But chosen ones, you got some people very upset because now they're noticing that time is of the essence. And they know that you know that time is everything. Chosen ones, in this world, all we have is time. And they got comfortable thinking that, okay, I could treat the chosen one like this. I could treat the chosen one like that. They felt that you were always going to be accessible. Chosen ones, that's their problem. That's their mistake. They felt like that. It's okay. We're, we're only humans. Everybody is subjective to their foolish thoughts. Don't go back. Don't let them make you, chosen ones, don't let them make you feel guilty or shameful because you want to take more time to yourself. Because you're recognizing that time is everything. Chosen ones, you've spent months, maybe for some of y'all years, trying to show these narcissists, hey, I'm accessible. I'm here if you need me. Just call me and I'll be there. And they took your kindness as a weakness. They chose to look at the chosen one as a weaker vessel. They chose to say, oh, well, look, they're accessible. It's time for me to uh, ploy and trick and deceive the chosen ones and make them feel inadequate for what is a vulnerability, a openness and a kind heart. They, they chose to manipulate and run witchcraft, minecraft, deception. You know, you know, we call them Decepticons. We don't just say it because it sounds good. We say Decepticon because Decepticon symbolizes that they transform, they change, they crafty. You know what I'm saying? One moment they're being nice. Next moment they're trying to figure, pick an argument. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to Decepticon. They're trying to deceive you. And Chosen Ones, you felt like it was okay to what? Be cool with these people. You felt like it was okay to trust these people. You felt like it was okay for you to let your hair down and be nice, be calm, be respectable, be respectful, be nice. 
But at the end of the day, chosen ones, they did nothing but let you take a sneak peek on the inside of who they truly are. They decided to make you feel insecure. They decided to, what, tweak with your heart strings and, and play with your mind and, and run game. They decided to, what, make you feel like you're not the chosen one. Gaslight. They decided to gaslight the chosen ones. They decided to what? Act like you're not the chosen one. That's why I make this video letting all the chosen ones know that, yes, you are accepted into the kingdom of God. You are accepted by the most high. You don't need any approval. You don't need any validation from nobody walking that got two feet like you walking on this earth. You don't need no approval. And see, chosen ones, they hate the fact that because what I'm telling you right now, it ties into why you're not going to waste your time no more. Because chosen ones, they created you a part of you that they could always tap into whenever they felt like it. They created and tried to put and pour insecurity into your life. And they try to make it to where whenever they reach out to you, you're going to kiss their ass. <clears throat> but see, God healed you from that delusion. He healed you from that lie. That was a lie from Satan. Satan wanted you to believe that you needed somebody to make you be something better than what you already are. It, Chosen one, you're perfect the way you are. You don't need any approval. See, chosen ones are more powerful than they think a lot of the times. Chosen ones don't always know their true strength. And a lot of predatorial creatures on planet Earth already come in knowing that. They can smell blood in the water. But see, like I said, chosen ones, listen, here's the thing. You don't need any approval. Now, I made a video on a support system, that video, that live stream, it didn't actually, um, I, I recorded for like 18 minutes and I only posted five minutes of it. I'm going to do more videos on support systems, but chosen ones, they knew your support system was weak. They knew you didn't have social skills. They knew you were trying to figure life out. But, and, they, and guess what they did? <clears throat> They decided they was going to be the devil to you instead. They decided, okay, I'm going to try to stress this chosen one out. And chosen ones, this is why they're mad. They're upset because you have finally re recognized that, hey, my time is worth so much. So as a consequence to the chosen one waking up and realizing that my time means everything, it means that people don't get none of your time. See, this is what they don't want you to know. They're going to hate me for telling you this secret. They are the biggest time wasters on the planet. See, there's people in life, chosen ones, that are so miserable. That they'll waste their whole life and time, and then they'll come over and waste your life and time too, and use it, use all your minutes up, your minutes, hours, and weeks. They'll use it all up because these people don't value. You know how they say, "Learn the value of a dollar." These people don't know the value of a, a minute or an hour. They don't understand the value of time, and they expect other people to be losers like them and not understand the value of time. So, chosen ones. Watch out for these people, these Decepticons that come around you and they don't understand time. Because what they do is they, like Agent Smith in the Matrix, they, uh, they try to touch you metaphorically by wasting your time and then making you acu like accustomed to what time. They're, they're like turning you out to like, learning how to waste your time like them. 
if you understand what I'm saying. Like they come around you and they start arguments. This is the one of the one of the ways they start arguments. They act like they don't understand what you're trying to say. They act like you know you're speaking a foreign language. They act like you're crazy. All of this games they play to what slow you down. Just so you feel what? Confused. Once you feel confused, they see you as a sitting duck because you're not going to walk away or go nowhere, do anything at that point. So they think. And then that's when they try to lead you, which is the most disrespectful, toxic, poisonous thing that a, especially a woman or a female a lot of y'all got narcissistic females in your life can do to you. Now, for guys, it's disrespectful, too, that someone would narcissistically abuse you to waste your time to slow you down so that they can lead you somewhere. Because that's them saying, I'm going to take you. I'm go That's them saying, I'm going to um, crusade you. I'm going to overpower you. I'm going to lead you and drive you where I want you to go without saying it, right? Watch out, chosen ones. Be careful. But understand God is on your side. And see, they hate that. They hate when you understand God is on your side because God is the one who enlightens you. The word, the scripture, the Bible, these things enlighten you. Channels like my channel, people like me, other chosen ones, we enlighten one another. And these people, they hate when you can see them as they are. Because when you see them as they are, they just look stupid. But when you don't see them as they are, they actually creep through. And it's very, very strange and insidious. So chosen ones, I, I, I'm telling you, be careful of these time predators. They predatorial with time. They love to waste your time. They love to come in and make you think that they talking and they not saying anything. They just trying to get you. They just trying to size you up. They're just trying to see where you stand and how you think and what you're talking about. They're trying to pick, point, pinpoint and find a weak spot, a soft spot, a blemish that they can crusade. They don't care about you. Like, they don't care about you. They care about the monopolizing of you. They care about the manipulation of you. They care about the, the Minecraft. They care about the dirty work. They don't care about none of the positive things you got going on and none of that shit. They don't care about nothing. These people are predatorial in nature. Chosen ones, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you on the next video. Watch out for these people. It's your boy Willard, man. I'm out, man. Peace, man. See you on the next video.